This AI agent is absolutely insane and you need to see this madness. Imagine if you have an assistant who worked 24 seven, never got tired and didn't get salty when you gave them a hundred tasks to do list with a deadline of right now. It plans parties, books, flights, and even stalks your competition. I'll show you exactly how to do that today. No breaks, no mistakes, no TikTok distractions, and it can command an army of AI. In fact, I actually installed cursor directly to this agent so it could just go off and build all sorts of crazy stuff. This is like having a $100,000 executive assistant working 24 seven for you. Plus I'm gonna show you 380 realistic use cases for AI agents, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let's get this AI party popping. So once you're logged in, what you're gonna do from here is go to computer agent. That's gonna open up a new environment where you have your agent opened and it's ready to go. Now, some people inside the video I mentioned about earlier talked about how this could have privacy issues, but here's the thing. This is in a virtual environment. Right. So it's not interacting with your data. It's in a completely separate hosted environment. It's not inside your main browser. And so it's a lot safer. Again, that depends what you're comfortable with. So we're going to test it out now. I'm going to say plan a surprise 50th birthday party for my friend in New York City, including venue booking, guest invitations, catering, entertainment decorations, and a backup plan for bad weather, all within a $10,000 budget. We'll hit enter. And what the computer agent is going to do is now start navigating the internet and meticulously planning out this birthday party and the best thing about this is between the chat and the agent here and the browser that you have over here it's got all the data and all the information it needs to go off and do everything that you want it to do now here's what's wild for example if you had an executive assistant in the us right let's say you're in new york and you want a top level executive assistant maybe you're a ceo that sort of thing that's typically going to set you back like a hundred thousand dollars a year for an assistant like this however if you use one of these ai agents it's going to cost you a few dollars a month. I think it's something like $10 a month for this software. You actually get the first month free when you sign up. And then this can do all the planning for you, except here's the difference. It doesn't need to rest. It doesn't need to take weekends off. It's not going to sass you if you have any problems. It doesn't sleep, doesn't take breaks, and it can do all the research online for you directly. It can Google for you. It can search websites for you. It can even look at screenshots and analyze what's physically there on the page for you. And so if it's just a case of researching online, gathering data, looking at websites, etc., then actually this AI may be more powerful than having an executive assistant or some sort of team member because it's more efficient. And you can see here is searching for venues. It's looking through the website. It's analyzing the opening hours, price range, etc. It's already meticulously planned the whole process like you can see right here. And it's going to be absolutely relentless when it researches because it doesn't get tired, it doesn't get bored, it doesn't get distracted by TikTok or cat memes or something like that. Now, inside this virtual environment as well, you can actually install programs, which I'll come on to later, because this can be super powerful for actually coding and interacting with AI directly without you having to do it. The AI can do that for you. I'll come on to that later. But here's another example research from, so we can say, for example, plan my whole trip meticulously. Here's the details from Bangkok to Cabo. Conference starts here. Conference is at here check the prices online, search Google flights, meticulously plan the whole process for me. Now, this is actually one of the things that puts me off going to conferences these days. It's because of how much time and research it requires. And quite often that can be hours, right? And even then, if you're flying internationally, it's so easy to mess this up, right? So using a process like the AI agent, actually you can get more accurate details on the plan. You can plan out details that you probably never thought of before because you're using the AI to do it for you. It can search for flights based on where you need to go. It's not going to be tired at like 9 p.m. trying to do this at night and then book the wrong flight to the wrong place or anything like that. There's very little room for error because you're relying on an AI to do this for you, which reduces the margin for error. And you can see, for example, it's researching the prices right here. It's having a look through, seeing what's going on, and it's only taking a few minutes to do. Right? If you compare, and this is a scary thing. This is what's wild, right? If you, for example, gave uh, a team member, maybe 20 things to do today. It's going to overwhelm them. It's going to bombard them with crazy stuff, right? And they're just going to get stressed out and, and probably burned out along the way, right? Which is fair enough. If you gave the AI assistant 100 things to do today, it could easily do it. It could easily do all of them today without sleeping, without resting, without getting tired, without asking for a pay rise and absolutely smashing its targets. Now, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. But I am saying that's probably the way that we're going as a society. If you look at how fast this technology is evolving and bear in mind, this is what, this is about any sort of training, right? Literally it's like having an employee or an assistant 
literally start this morning and be 100% productive from day one. The other good thing about this is that you don't need any technical expertise to get it set up, right? So normally, for example, if you're using an AI agent, it's going to take a bit of time going back and forth and setting it up in the terminal and all the command prompts and everything else is very technical. Whereas, for example, you use something like this, you log in, boom, you're ready to go. If you need to come back to it, you don't need to set up the terminal again. It's ready, it's set up, the environment is good to go. And here you can see, actually, it's given us the whole comprehensive travel breakdown. For example, pre-trip requirements, flight details, so the arrival time, the return based on what it found, the accommodation and the details on that, plus the price. The daily schedule for the whole day, day by day, so it's done it from the 5th of June to the 9th of June, as discussed. And also the budget breakdown, plus even a packing checklist and important contacts, along with what to expect, transportation, currency, health and safety, and useful apps, right? I have never seen a plan so detailed and meticulous as that when it comes to traveling. And this is just automated it for us in literally a few minutes based on real-time data from the internet and the research it just went off and did. It's pretty wild. So here we're testing something else out. So I'm going to say my competitor is JulianGoldie.com. Julian Goldie runs an SEO agency researching Tell me everything I need to know about this competitor. And you can see it's already just searching the internet, scrolling through the website. I'm a cheeky gander at this man, Julian Goldie. Then it's having a look at my LinkedIn. So it's basically researching everything it needs to know about me online. And then you can see here, it's given us a full plan breakdown. So if we open this up, this is all the research we got back. Here's the information about this guy. Here's what he sells. Here's his positioning. Here's his online presence. USPs, target market, etc. You've got a full competitor research report. Now, the difference between, say, using something like this and ChatGPT is that, number one, this is based on today's data. Number two, it's based on this model actually searching the web and researching about me. And number three, it combines the best of both worlds, right? So it's not really a chatbot. It's more of an agent where it's got more independence to search the internet, do research in it. So what it can also do is if you log in inside this virtual environment, then it should be able to use the tools and the websites that you've logged into. So what we're gonna test now is logging into a website and then seeing if the AI can interact with it directly inside this virtual environment. So I'll just get that set up now. And um, we're gonna be using bolt.new to do this. And now we are logged into bolt, which means on a completely free plan inside bolt.new, we can build out some websites using this AI. So for example, if I say to the AI agent, create a website from SEO agency using bolt.new, we'll take some information about me, like you can see right here. We'll go back to Abacus, we'll paste that in. And then you can see it said, I'll help you create a new website using bolt.new. Let's open that up. Just navigate it to bolt.new directly. And one of the best things about this is because it's an AI, prompting an AI, it knows how to prompt it to get better responses out. So for example, usually if we are as humans using the AI to build tools, we don't know how to get the best out of these AI tools because we don't understand them in the best possible way. Whereas if it's an AI talking to an AI, they can communicate in a better way. So you can see the prompt that it's giving bold.new right now to create that SEO agency website structure. And that's obviously going to be more detailed than something I would normally give it. And now you can see it's building out the tool. Again, I'm not touching any of this. It's just doing what it wants and going off and doing it. I can see the code is being created for the website. It's actually giving you updates inside the chat as well. So just let me click on this, blah, blah, blah. And the other thing to note about this is because you're getting this in a virtual environment, you can just go off and do your work in the background, right? And this tab can just run automatically. You don't even need to check it until the task is done. And so you can basically clone yourself inside this virtual environment to do whatever work you want it to do. Come back once the AI has finished your job, get it to interact with other AIs and build an army or a team of AIs. And then on the right hand side, you've got the website built out, custom tailored to what we wanted. You can always go back and forth and ask the AI to create something better, but you can see you can easily automate not just the tasks or the tools that you want to build, but actually the creation of those tasks by just asking the AI to build it in the background, right? You could ask it probably to build like 10 websites out or five different tools that you want to create. Now, what we could also do is ask it to download stuff and install programs for us. So I'm going to say download and install cursor. So I've said, go to cursor's website and install it. It's going to the website. Now it's downloading the file. You can see it downloading on our virtual environment. And now I've come back and you can see here, we've got cursor installed at the bottom right there. Look at that. So if we click continue and then we can just sign up and go inside cursor if we want to start using it. Now, one thing I'm going to say here, because I don't want to BS anyone and tell everyone like, oh, this is the best thing since I started putting gravy on my chips. Basically, what we're trying to do 
you, you're you going to see that it will struggle sometimes. For example, so I said, go to Curse's website and install it. It said, yeah, I'll help you do that. It tried this and this. It didn't really seem to work for quite a while, had quite a few issues. And then it finally started running and installing right here. Expect some problems. It's not going to be the smoothest experience you've ever seen. But you can see there are so many use cases from this today. For example, planning events, planning trips like we showed you, competitive research on someone's website, blog, overall, etc. Logging into like tools, for example, like Bolt.new and then using the AI to build other AI tools in the background whilst you would do other stuff. And then finally, it's like actually downloading programs and building stuff locally using Cursor or Winsor or Bolt DIY or whatever you want to use for coding purposes. And then you have a coder in the background working whilst you're getting your other work done on all the other tabs in your browser. So pretty wild stuff there. Lots of great use cases. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done, I know a lot of people want realistic actual use cases. I've shown you some of the best of use cases today, but also I've created these prompts where you can come up with hyper-realistic actual use cases for using these AI agents based on your niche. So you can just paste in the prompt. I've also included examples of all the prompts we mentioned today, which you'll get access to, and also 280 use cases across many different ideas and areas of your life that you can automate with AI agents. On top of that, I've also included 210 personal productivity use cases to save you a lot of time based on all of the things that I've shown you today so that you can use these AI agents to get the maximum possible benefit out of them. Now, if you want to get free access to this, I've included that inside my free SEO course, link in the comments and description, and you can get access to 215 lessons on SEO, including the keyword research, link building, content creation, and traffic diversification. On top of that, if you scroll down to the AI agent section, which you can see right here, you can get free access to all of these tutorials, including the video notes from today, which you'll find down here, titled AI agents use cases. So feel free to get free access to that link in the comments and description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. So it's custom tailored to you, your business, your website, so you can get more leads, customers, sales to your site. You discover the secrets of SEO link building. we we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one -one on this call. You learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10 the SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye.